what is up guys welcome to the first video in the series in the get cell series that is so in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up your system for csgo uh first of all let me give you an overview of my system and what i'm running i'm using a laptop um that's a legion wi-fi 40 laptop it has an intel i7 i believe so it's a 9750h um, and it has 16 gigs of ram and an rtx 2060 80 watt edition uh, gpu um, however i also use two external monitors and i do not use the 144 inbuilt laptop screen my laptop is always docked uh, that's why i do not use the inbuilt screen and i use the two external monitors uh, one the primary one that i'm using for gaming is the benq xl 2546 240 hertz monitor and the one that's on my left that i use for my screen uh, i mean my chat as well as obs is uh, uh, benq e2200 hd and it's a 60 hertz panel right so first thing what i like to do when i set up my uh, system or when i fresh install windows is obviously download the latest uh, gpu drivers and system drivers if you have so make sure to keep your uh, gpu drivers always up to date it's always beneficial i do not use geforce experience uh, because i think it's crap and it does not add any value but if you want to you can go ahead and uh, install it all right so first thing uh, what you need to do is click on uh, the desktop go to display settings right over here you can see all your displays one is my laptop two is my primary monitor that is right in front of me that i used to game and that's 240 hertz three is the one that's on the left like i mentioned uh, and it's vertically uh, placed so if i hit an identify it'll show me two and three and one is disabled the next thing you do is you select or you set your primary monitor so select on two in my case and scroll down and make this my main display check this box so this will make sure that this display is your primary display the next thing that you need to ensure is is to extend this displays do not duplicate this display the reason to extend is if you extend the displays you'll be able to run this displays independently one two you'll be able to run them in their full frequency so this is running at 240 hertz and this is running at 60 hertz if i were to duplicate this display both would run at 60 hertz because the higher display would be uh, downscaled or reduced to the highest display uh, frequency of the secondary monitor that is 60 hertz, uh, 60 hertz. All right, so that's what I do over here. The next thing is to hop on to the NVIDIA control panel. <coughs> so right click launch your NVIDIA control panel and go to manage 3D settings. Uh, I'm going to just scroll through it and just copy uh, whatever I have here and it should work best for you. Uh, guys, I, as I mentioned, this video is primarily on NVIDIA because I don't have an uh, AMD card, but I assume that it's going to be pretty similar uh, on both AMD. <clears throat> Although some uh, some configuration should be named differently, you can just Google and look it up. All right. So scroll all the way down. Um, I'm going to scroll through it again and if you find a, a, a setting just pause through it and uh, copy it right uh, the most important thing right now here is vertical sync it's it's re highly recommend that you turn it off so that you get more than 60 fps or else your system will be capped to 60 fps the next thing that I like to change is the uh, texture filtering quality I leave it with high performance shader cache if you have an SSD and your game is installed on the SSD make sure you turn this on uh, on sorry and if you do not have an ssd uh, turn this off this is going to save textures on your disk and it's going to help you um, help the game perform a little bit better during load times and uh, avoid texture popping uh, so keep this on if you have an ssd and keep it off uh, if you don't have an ssd right the next is the preferred the refresh rate since i set my uh, monitor uh, as the primary one it, it shows over here benq zavi excel right so set it to highest available power management mode prefer maximum performance right leave everything off if you want to uh, there's one other setting that is recently uh, added to nvidia gpus that is a low latency mode uh, this makes so that uh, the game feels a little bit smoother uh, i keep it on ultra but also at times i uh, keep it off uh, depends on my preference whenever I feel like so play around with this and see how how you like it, right? Uh, next up is go to change resolution uh, Make sure you select the right uh, resolution over here Sometimes when you connect your display it will set to this this option will be selected 1080p 1920 uh, native When you have it at this option your highest refresh rate will be locked to 60 so scroll down go to PC and you should see 240 Hertz 
this is the secondary monitor that i use it's set to native and if i go to uh pc you not you won't even see uh in my case you won't even see 1920 to 1080 so this select to native and the highest should be 60 hertz all right once that is done you can go ahead and change your uh, uh, digital vibrance from here make it more vibrant i normally like to keep it at 70 when i play csgo when i play other games i bring it back to the default that is 50 so get it back to 70 in my case right this will make the uh, <coughs> map a little bit more vibrant and you'll be able to distinguish between uh, uh, character models a little bit better at least in my opinion so next up what you can do is go to adjust desktop size and position i have uh, set it to full screen right now and i removed this option this option should always be on gpu and you should not perform uh, gpu or uh, scaling on your display select override scaling perform uh, mode by games and programs also click on apply Right. This is so that if you're running uh, 4 to 3 black bars uh, in CSGO, it will stretch it out and you won't have this black bars on the side. I like to play stretch. That's why I select full screen and I perform the scaling on GPU. If you perform the scaling on uh, on a display, depending on your display model, you could have some input lag, etc. Et so always perform your uh, scaling on GPU. Right. So that's what you do over here. That's how you set up your uh, NVIDIA uh, graphic driver. Next up, what I like to do um, primarily since I use a laptop is I go to edit power plan. Right. So if I go here, you should see this. Generally, you should see uh, two options called balance and performance, but I have an uh, option called ultimate performance, right? Uh, if you don't see this, what you need to do is go to uh, Google and type Windows 10 ultimate power plan, right? Click on the first link, scroll down and you should see this, this command, open up a command prompt run as administrator paste it in hit enter once you do this you should see this option right in this option if i uh, click on it and change its settings you can see that i have turned everything to never right and then i click on advanced power settings uh, these are my settings so hard disk is never turned off i'm just gonna expand it so that you guys can see see plugged in maximum performance my laptop as i mentioned is always docked so it's always plugged in so these are the settings you can uh, go ahead and copy it if you require right so this is my power plant settings the next thing that i do is inside is inside csgo or inside steam so go to library right click properties launch options no wait over here uh, is just to disable the starting video that plays when you launch CSGO. That's the Valve introduction video or the Valve guy video. High is to set the processor priority. Uh, it does not affect as much, I believe so. And the devs recommendation is you don't have any launch options, but this is something that I uh, use because I believe it helps me or helps my game on my system. Allow third party software is to run the game in untested mode because I stream and I use OBS. So for OBS, to hook into the game and using game capture you require this uh, launch option that's why i run it you don't need to do, do it if you are not a streamer or don't use any recording uh, uh, software to hook into cs all right click ok recently i had an issue where my game was stuttering a lot i mean a lot i used to get 300 fps but the game would be just choppy and it would just lag and it was really unplayable i did a lot of debugging and i reinstalled my windows reinstalled my graphic drivers i re reached out to face it because it used to happen a lot when i used to play on face it and not so much on matchmaking um what helped in the end was one setting within windows is uh disabling full screen optimization so for that go to local files go to uh, browse local files you should see this window Right, this is where the game is installed. In your case, it would be C or uh, D or wherever you installed it. Right click this um, uh, icon. You should just see CSGO. You won't be able to see EXE unless you have uh, um, unchecked in the option to show extensions. So right click, go to properties, go to compatibility and disable uh, full screen optimization. So basically, as per my understanding is it's a feature in Windows 10 to 
enable you to alt tab quicker or uh, or show overlays quicker for example your volume when you when you do this this volume will be uh, displayed on top of your game which can cause some issues because it's running the game in full screen but in a borderless windowed full screen mode so disabling full screen optimization runs the game exclusively on full screen uh, which in my case helped fix the stuttered issue so hopefully it uh, it helps you out right so let's jump into the game now that we are in the game uh, let's jump into the settings click on video and here's my uh, video setting <laughs> i run in uh, 4 to 3 aspect ratio and i run 1280 to 960 that's the resolution that i use make sure your uh, color mode is computer monitor if you keep as television the colors are gonna be washed out a bit and it's not gonna be very vibrant uh, if you like that you can change to television it's not gonna impact your performance in any way uh, make sure your uh, display mode is full screen and your laptop power saving mode is disabled if you're playing on a laptop like me right the next up is my uh, graphic settings uh, as you can see everything is low low multi-core is enabled make sure it's enabled it'll give you a nice sps boost uh, I disable FXAA but I keep my texture filtering mode to 16x as it makes it a little bit more clear and I don't, don't like my game to be blur right uh, the next thing is uber shadows this is a new feature that was recently added to CSGO uh, just keep it at auto I just uh, leave it at search default I believe auto is the next thing that you can do is if you have a good system or you uh, uh, are not a streamer or don't rely on your GPU for streaming like I do uh, you can change your effect details to high or medium this will help you uh, see through model tools a little bit better because if you lower the effect details you're gonna see a black smoke when uh, people money so uh, but if it's high you're gonna see a lot more flames and if you're closer to the model tool, you'll be able to see through it uh, much better so that's a good tip over here if you if you have a good system that is when I'm not streaming, I try and keep this as high, uh, which gives you a slight advantage. But when I'm streaming, it takes a performance hit. That's why I keep it in here, right? Uh, next up is audio. Uh, here's my uh, audio settings. I keep it at 80. That's uh, volume 0 0.80. Uh, the maximum it can go is uh, 100. And over the, in the console, it is 1. Sorry. Volume 1. So that sets it to 100 if I go back and come here. Um, yeah I did not tell you how to enable console so uh, if you press the tilt key that's the key right below your escape button on your keyboard you should see the developer console this is called as console or the developer console in order to enable this you need to go to game and click on this option enable developer console it will be set to no uh, if it's set to no just click on yes and hit the button uh, that's below your escape key and you should see uh, this console this console is useful in many ways uh, which you, I'll show you maybe uh, later down in the next video series or in the next video that is uh, so yeah make sure you enable this right going back to uh, audio right so um, I keep uh, music in game uh, very low I don't primarily use any of this I'll show you why uh, this is the go TV caster if you expect it in a match uh, and if this cast is enabled you can enable that um, it's the default 100 uh, my output configuration is stereo headphones uh, I primarily recommend keeping it on stereo headphones do not keep any of these options or do not even uh, use surround uh, surround sound which is very very bad for CS your audio device is your default audio device that you have on your system i use my interface that's the focus right so i've set it to focus right and uh, advanced 3d audio processing people recommend that you keep it to yes this is hrtf this is the new uh, positional audio system or engine in csgo which helps people but uh, i'm not used to it and uh, that's why i set it to no enable mic uh, press to use mic that's the default uh, VOIP I generally set it to zero. Uh, positioning is off. Play audio when in game. No. Right. Come down to the music section. Everything should be turned off over here. You do not need music when you play a competitive CSGO. So make sure you turn it off. Turn everything to off. However, there is one exception. You can see over here 10 seconds warning volume. Make sure you keep it at 10% of, uh, of the overall settings. This is very, very, very helpful and very useful command and I highly recommend that you keep it to 10%. Uh, 
right the reason for this is when he's going to diffuse when there is 10 seconds left this music will play it takes 10 seconds to diffuse a bomb without a diffuser kit a uh, diffusal kit and it takes 5 seconds to diffuse a bomb with the diffuser kit so if you do not have a diffuser kit and you stick the bomb and the music has not played that means you have enough time to diffuse but the music just start and you just start you might have a chance to diffuse it but the 10 second warning starts as soon as the timer in game timer hits 10 seconds not the milliseconds 10 seconds so this is very uh, useful in deciding whether you have enough time to diffuse the bomb without a diffuser kit so i highly recommend everyone should keep this on and keep it at 10% and keep everything else off you know, next up is game right uh, so turn this off uh, this gives you tips and uh, uh, little hints in game so i feel it i find it very distracting turn this off if you primarily play matchmaking uh, set your ping i like to keep it at 25 to get uh, i believe mumbai uh, west service in southern india uh, so i have better pings to this this particular uh, server that when i set it to uh, 25 max acceptable game traffic bandwidth unrestricted you can set this based on your internet speed i have a pretty good 200 mbps fiber connection so i keep it unrestricted uh community notification uh, location this is the top left uh, but you can also change this inside teams overlay uh, so i just leave it at default like i mentioned enable developer console keep it at yes uh friendly fire radical warning always on this is when your crosshair will show a x mark when you aim at your teammate i just find it useful sometimes it through smokes and stuff it will help me uh not exactly through smokes but when the smoke is fading uh if there is a teammate i can quickly scan and figure out if there is a teammate or not so it's not always perfect it's a little bit buggy but at times it works this is my hud scale uh this is the scale of my uh hud that you see on the bottom of the screen uh, you can see your hp your uh, your uh, ammo count etc etc on the bottom and also on the top you can see your uh, uh teammates or team information like number of players around on the scoreboard hud color is default uh the background color the uh, opacity of it uh, 0.5 health ammo style i like to keep it at simple uh a bomb hud position is under the radar you can display whether you want the bomb to be shown uh, on the left side over here below the radar or on the right side next to your equipment all right uh mini scoreboard style top of the screen it will show here instead of bottom of the screen and mini scoreboard style is just show player count this will hide the icons uh, or basically the display pictures uh, that is get displayed on top of the scoreboard uh, i just like it simple though i just keep it uh, the show player count next up is uh, steam group clan no clan tag display tags in uh, team death notes is yes i like to keep it no so this will only show their name in the death in the in the notification over here that notices but if you keep it yes it will show their full name as shown in the scoreboard right i forgot to mention uh, what is this is this is in case you have a, a group team group so when you select it it will show god skills and then your uh, then your nickname in my case it would show god skills question mark dot god skills since my in game nick is also god skills you know right uh show team uh, positions in hud show occasion and equipment this will allow you, uh, you to see your teammates equipment uh, as in which gun they are carrying uh, how many nades they have through walls uh, on top of their head uh, at a certain distance within map so this is very useful command so it will help you know if your teammate uh, through a wall or inside a site for example you are in mid industry and your teammate is inside b you can quickly look through the wall and see whether he has utility he has a smoke he has a flash to help you out or you can call call the call for a flash or a smoke depending on uh, what equipment he has all right uh, show teammate colors in competitive uh, this is color. all your teammates would show as if you are terrorist it would show as orange and all your teammates uh, would show as blue if you are counter terrorist i have colors and letters so it will just show different colors that is this colors yellow blue green or whatever colors that you uh get assigned when you join a server and it'll just show a random letter there i just find it useful that's that's why i have it set to colors and letters these are lobby settings you can copy it or uh, keep your set your own uh player pings and uh, uh, this thing i keep it display and sound this is for communication mute enemy team one of the best commands you should use it uh 
this will avoid trash talking and avoid tilting at least in my case i find it uh, people are very childish and ignorant and uh, toxic at times so i keep it at yes so that i do not get distracted or tilted by the enemy team um or generally people are very disrespectful and mannerless so this really helps you in 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 ways i cannot explain right mute all but friends i also said to yes when i play solo because i always find that people don't really understand the game and this uh, mic spam or talk over you when you're playing and uh, generally distract you so i keep it to yes when i'm playing solo or generally i just mute someone who is being uh, very what do you say uh, toxic or uh, generally not helpful in the game because i personally do not require you people to use mic uh, i rely highly on radar and uh, i'll tell you why in uh, in the next video or uh, in future videos of the series on how to use the radar and why radar is your single best teammate that you can ever have in csgo or in cs in general right uh text filtering i keep it as off uh, this uh, filters out uh, uh if you see words uh, and uh, on all that such all that garbage so uh, please go ahead and set it according to your preference next up is hide avatar images so all uh, this is the same image over that you see in the previous profile i just keep it at default uh clean player names is no or is it will uh, filter out if people have offensive names it will filter out and give them uh, bot names or some other alternative names so i keep it at no um again spectator scoreboard these are the keys for the uh, spectator uh, scoreboard just copy it i never change it it's always on the default um items i do change i like quick uh, quick release of graffiti i keep it at yes turn this off switch weapon on pickup it should always be on no the reason for this is you do not want uh, you to automatically pick up a gun by walking over it so suppose you are in a pistol and you just killed one person and you're fighting one more person sometimes while moving that side this side or counter strafing you might accidentally pick it up uh, when you pick up a weapon you have a slight delay before you can fire so to prevent that you always set it to no uh delay sniper rifle uh, on scope after shot i keep it to no this is a new settings i do not know what it does uh, so my view model position is classic but i also have additional settings i will show you later on in my config uh, always show inventory is set to yes that is your inventory on your hud will always be displayed that will show you how much nades you always have or else only when when you switch to a particular weapon for example when you switch from knife to a primary or a secondary will you see the nades on the bottom right corner of your screen so i like to always know how many how many utility i have left after a round or mid round or after a round mid round so that's why i always keep it to yes so i would recommend you do the same close buy menu after purchase is set to no that means when you hit the buy menu uh, that is b and select a uh, select a weapon it would not automatically close it will stay open and you have to manually go back and go to the next equipment um open buy menu with use key uh, this is the same key that you use to diffuse diffuse the bomb or open a door that's the use key uh, basically over here uh, if you press that and spawn it will open your uh, buy menu i have set it no buy menu starting position radial buy menu will center so whenever you open your buy menu your your uh, mouse cursor will be in the center of the position i don't use it i don't use the buy menu often i primarily have binds to buy all my weapons so uh, it's not much useful but if you want you can uh, copy these settings next up is radar and tablet uh tablet map orientation uh, show entire map rotating i believe this is uh, useful only for danger zone um i have never played or i usually don't play danger zone so keep this at whatever you prefer uh radar centers the player i have it at yes radar is rotating i have it at yes radar hut size is at one radar map zoom it's at 0.4 you can play around with the settings to make it zoom in a little bit more or zoom out uh toggle shape with scoreboard is set to yes so this setting is useful when you want to see the entire map so when you press tab your crosshair i uh, it's not your crosshair your radar is going to turn into a square and it's going to show you the entire map you uh, are making it useful to see uh, where exactly your team mate is on the other side of the map right so here's my uh, crosshair that i'm currently using um it's just a random crosshair that i made so here's the share code if you are interested in copying the crosshair but here's the what do you say general settings for the crosshair so if you want to go ahead and copy this please do so next up is keyboard and uh, mouse settings make sure your raw input is turned on so this will prevent mouse extrusion that set in windows um sorry 
not set in Windows. This will override the settings that are in Windows. So if you have, let's say, your Windows settings is uh, seven out of eleven, uh, but in game you don't want any of your settings to be modified or touched by Windows, uh, by setting it to raw on. Uh, CSGO will completely ignore the window settings and only use what is set in in game. I am currently using mouse sensitivity of two, and my DPI is 400. I'll explain the reasoning behind it in the next video, uh, where I'm going to show you how to set your sensitivity, etc., etc. Right? Um, duck mode is hold, walk mode is hold. Uh, I don't. I have never changed this, and I don't even think that these settings work. But uh, go ahead and again try and see what works for you. These are the default moment uh, moment keys that I use. Uh, it's default. Uh, my use is F. The reason being is my E is flash. I have a quick bind to remove flash, and uh, I have quick bind on Q to remove uh, 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 Molotov quickly or a, or a grenade quickly. Um, so I scroll through it. You can go ahead and copy it and uh, choose to use it or uh, find your own settings. So these are my settings. Right, so this is how I like to set up my my CSGO. If you are interested and if you need my config, uh, I'll show you where you can find my config. Right, so to find my config, so go to godskills.gg. This is my website. It is a website that I primarily build for my stream viewers as a companion tool. So go to website, log in using your uh, uh, Google ID that you have used to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And once you have done that, uh, click on my profile. This will open up my profile on the website. And here you can find my config. Click on my config and you should be able to find my CFG. You should also see my video settings, my mouse settings and uh, crosser settings, view model, all my view model settings over here. Like I mentioned, all my binds are over here. So these binds are all the... Uh, binds that I use to buy weapons, for example, uh, uh, F1 to buy M4 or AK, uh, F2 to buy uh, Kevlar with helmet, F9 to buy only the Kevlar, etc. Um, etc. Et More on this uh, later on uh, in the next video series, I'll explain why I do that. Uh, here are my network commands, here are my surround setting commands, and here are the different configs that I use. One is my primary config that's godskills.gg. You can click on download it and use it, or you can see uh, what commands you require and just right click and copy any of those here's my auto exe um, here's my practice cfg that if you require uh, which enables cheats in uh, infinite ammo uh, flashbang grenades etc etc more on this also in the nether video um, so yeah go ahead and download it use it um, and feel free to upload your own so you can go back here click on csgo on the menu and once you're logged in it will show your own config and if you do not have your own config you can upload it and track or have your config readily available if you go to LAN and stuff also another tip quick tip over here is mouse settings right now you can save your mouse settings over here and uh, soon i will have a mouse history mouse setting history or mouse sensitivity history that will show your history uh, of your uh, mouse setting or sensitivity behavior over time how often do you change what your changes were etc uh, etc et this will also be extended in the future to show win rate based on your sensitivity so let's say that you have used uh, two sensitivity and 400 dpi for one month and it will show in that one month with this particular sensitivity how many games you have won how many games you have lost yeah, by giving you an idea of how well the sensitivity is doing for you compared to um, the other sensitivities you have uh, previously have or currently have so it's not yet implemented it's coming in the future so just wait for it and uh, hopefully soon i'll have it so that's it guys so that's how i set up my cs and that's those are my csgo settings hope you uh, find it useful hope you learn something new all right guys so that's it hope you find this video useful if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and if you did not like the video hit the dislike button and let me know what i can do to make it better for you uh, share it with your friends and if you have any questions reach out to me on instagram or leave a comment below or drop by my stream i stream every single day 12 30 a.m ist and also i am giving away a crosshair k55 rgb keyboard as a 1000 subscriber giveaway that is when i hit 1000 subscribers i'm giving away the keyboard to know how to enter go to my instagram find the giveaway post and follow the steps to enter all right guys thank you so much for watching uh, i will see you in the next one have a good day and and uh, ciao ciao